Thank you for joining me in praying for laborers for ASAP. I have exciting news to share with you today, an absolute answer to prayers. Let me introduce you to Daryl Hosford. He's our ASAP new International Field Director, having served as an active board member on the Board of Directors, and now he's pouring his whole heart and soul into projects and new projects with ASAP. Daryl, your very first day on the job happened to be in a closed country and you had a chance to visit the Tan Jai Barbershop. This place is special because it's training missionaries, but also to have a trade. And you didn't just go and observe. What did you do, Daryl? I actually had my haircut there. That's pretty brave. And it was a fantastic haircut. Wow. So Daryl, what excites you about joining ASAP as the International Field Director? Well, you know, Julia, years ago, my family and I were able to join an ASAP mission trip. I we remember. went to Cambodia, and that was our first time out of the country to really do a mission trip like this. And our whole family just really loved it. I became more interested in how the gospel can go to the 1040 window and how there are so many people in Southeast Asia who've never even heard the name of Jesus. So sad. After that trip experience, I was able to return to Southeast Asia as my sons were helping ASAP produce videos, some of the very earliest Mission Matter videos. Yes, I remember. I wanted to go along and my excuse was that I could carry equipment and be the Sherpa for the team. <laughs> That was back in December of 2017. I remember. A fun memory from that trip was all of our little team, our video team, was riding in a sleeping bus <laughs> in the mountains of a closed country. There were hills, there were curves, and we were smashed up kind of in a, in a space made for Southeast Asians. And I remember we had no sleep that night. <laughs> I'm glad you can laugh about it. That sounds torturous. It was a very fun memory I for our family. I love the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, my older son, is now a missionary pilot with Pomus in the Philippines. We've been praying a lot for him and the team. And Daniel has continued his work with ASAP Ministries and is behind the camera even today. Yes, we're so grateful for Daniel. He works with ASAP, producing videos and helps other ministries produce videos as well. Our entire family, including my wife, Cheryl, are very interested and active in missions. Mm -hmm. And it was a natural fit for me to be interested in work with ASAP Ministries. So right off the bat, you hit the ground running. So tell us what you've been doing in the last four months. Right that first day of work with ASAP, Cheryl and I entered a closed country and we were able to see several projects that ASAP facilitates in that country. So much of ASAP's work is to relieve suffering, to feed the starving, to lighten the load of the oppressed, we work with education to improve the lives of children across Southeast Asia. In this particular country, it was really exciting to visit that barber shop. You know, there's an interesting thing that happens when you, someone's cutting your hair. You have the opportunity to dialogue, to get to know each other, to easily share about religion and have it be a very comfortable conversation. So I found that interesting, an interesting way in a closed country to share Jesus with someone else. So what other projects did you get a chance to visit? We visited a farm supported by ASAP, where the farmhands work under the training of an ASAP farming couple who are there to found the program and then turn it over to the local missionaries. They're focused on growing plants for seed. So they're going to be selling those seeds to other people and having an income. And they're also looking into developing a market garden so that the local community can have organic produce. Another project that we got to visit was a school 
This school is being constructed, so there weren't any students yet, and I was able to climb up a rickety ladder, just made out of bamboo and not very level, but I got up onto the second story of this new school that's being built and was able to see the panoramic view of the, of the property. And uh, I've got some pictures that will show you of that location. So exciting. So I came back to the office, got introduced to the team and some of the office work that I'll need to do. Then within a few weeks, I was able to go back to Southeast Asia and participate in field trainings. ASAP employs local missionaries, meaning they already know the culture, they already know the language, and they already know how to reach their neighbors. During those training events, we also touch base with each worker and we encourage them. I'm honored to be a part of ASAP Ministries. I enjoy project management and leading a team with its focus on reaching the 1040 window. We are so happy you joined ASAP as our International Field Director, Daryl. And I want to ask you to please keep Daryl in your prayers in his new position as he leads the troops on the front lines. Daryl, with your business background and your love for missions, I see that God is using you in such powerful ways already. So now under Daryl's leadership, ASAP will be able to establish more holistic, soul-winning projects, and we will strengthen the initiatives currently happening. Why? because Jesus is coming soon. Now more than ever, Mission, Mission Matters. matters.